Hi everybody, Miss Kwaman here, coming to you from my backyard. It's so excited to be sharing our first distance learning art project since school's been closed. I have to say I really miss seeing you all in the studio. I know I just got to know some of you for five days before school was canceled. So I know it's not going to be the same because we don't have all the equipment here. I realize a lot of you might not have art supplies at home. So we're going to start off with something where you don't need any art supplies at all. This is a found object color wheel challenge. Step one, look for colorful objects around your house. You'll find a lot of colorful things in the kitchen, in the bathroom. You might have colorful toys or colorful clothes. If you can't find colorful stuff in your house, if you're allowed to go out for a walk around your neighborhood, there's tons of colorful spring flowers blooming this time of year. If you have a set of crayons or colored pencils, you could use them for this project. But I challenged myself not to use any real art supplies at all and just use colorful stuff that I found around my house. Once you've gathered all of your colorful objects, or at least a 10 or so to start with, you want to find a nice clear open space where you're going to assemble your found object color wheel. I'm going to be working on a concrete slab in my backyard, but you could also do this on the floor. You could do this on your dining room table. You could put down a towel over your bed and put it on your bed. Any place that you've just got enough space to arrange some objects there. All right, so as you are setting up for your found object color wheel, I'd like you to start with the three primary colors. Those are red, I got my fire extinguisher, yellow, got my box of Cheerios, and blue. This is a lid from a cooler. Now, if you're working with paint, you can combine these three primary colors to create any color of the rainbow spectrum. Now, we're not going to be blending them here, but we're going to be arranging the other colors around them in the chromatic order. So, directly across from red, in between yellow and blue, we're going to place the color that you get when you mix blue and yellow together, which, as you know, is green. So, here's some Comet, directly across from my red. Okay, now, directly across from primary blue, I'm going to place the color I get if I mix red and yellow together, which, as you know, is orange. So here's an awesome orange Nike I'm going to put there. Now, directly across from yellow, in between red and blue, I'm going to put something purple. So here's my relaxing eye pillow. All right, so now you can see that we've got the primary color is straight across from a secondary color. Red is always straight across from green. Blue is always straight across from secondary orange. And primary yellow is always going to be straight across from secondary purple. Now, we can fill in the tertiary colors that you get if you combine a primary with a secondary. So I'm going to combine primary yellow with secondary green, and that's going to get me nice yellow-green like this lime. When I combine green and blue, I will get turquoise, like this handy box of disinfecting wipes, hard to come by these days. Okay, now if I combine blue and purple, I will get indigo. Here's a mop. I'm going with a spring cleaning theme. There we go. Now, combining red and purple, I'm going to have a red violet or a magenta. There's another Nike for you. Um, if you are borrowing somebody else's stuff for your color wheel like I did, make sure you ask your um, household member's permission before you borrow their Nikes. It's always good and important to get consent before you take someone else's stuff, even if you're going to give it back. Okay, now between primary red and secondary orange, I'm going to place some tertiary red-orange hot sauce. In the fridge is a great place to find stuff for your color wheel as well. Okay, now in between orange and yellow, I'm going to have yellow-orange. Here is a grapefruit. All right, so now I have 12 objects in my color wheel, three primary, three secondary, and six tertiary. One, 
two, three, four, five, six. Now I've also gathered a whole bunch of other objects that I'm going to include here. I'm going to put the video on time lapse to make that happen for you guys quickly. All right, you guys, that's all the objects for my found object color wheel. Just want to review with you again one more time. The three primary colors are red, yellow, and blue. The three secondary colors are green, purple, and orange. You always want to place a primary color directly across from a secondary color. Those are called complementary opposites. Blue is always straight across from orange. Primary yellow is always straight across from its complement, secondary purple. And primary red is always going to be straight across from its complement, secondary green. Those colors that go in between primary and secondary are called tertiary. You've got your red orange, yellow orange, yellow green, turquoise, indigo, and your red violet. So I had a blast putting together my found object color wheel. I hope that you'll have fun doing this as well. I wanted to start with this project so you guys see that you don't need any fancy art materials to have a creative experience. Now the hardest part of this project is going to be to put away all of the objects that you got out. Please make sure you take a photo and post it to your Artsonia account when you have your found object color wheel finished. Um, the classroom code for Artsonia is T-M-N-M-H-Y-M-X, Teenage Mutant Ninja Mutants, How You Make Xylophones. So if you have any questions or you need to talk, you can get in touch with me by email, molly.quammon at evergreenps.org. I hope you guys are all safe and healthy and that you're having fun, and I hope I get to see you again soon. Happy creating!